Hey guys, I'm going to take you along on a no cooling call I went to on, this actually took place over two different days. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy. Moving heat. I'm not real familiar with these systems. I don't even know what name brand this is. But with the drain coming out right here, I assume my evaporator coil is right here. It has no filter in it. I got low pressures. It's like somebody just reused whatever rain hood they had and <clears throat> well if I'm gonna do a leak search this is the place to be right here let's do a leak search real quick Oh my, that thing is leaking a lot. It is pouring right there. Let's see if we can. Holy smokes, that was a lot. <clears throat> it's tight. I could hear that leak right here from all the way down there. <laughs> that thing's as tight as it's gonna get. It might need a new Teflon seal. I mean, Check and see if I hear anything else. I 
I ain't hearing it now. I swear I didn't move it any. people on the on the other side over there I am not hearing it That couldn't be enough to fix it. I didn't feel like I turned it at all. Sure enough, I'm not hearing it. Nothing. I guess I'm safe to charge it up. I gotta get him a filter though. You know what, if that Teflon seal was leaking that bad, and it was leaking pretty bad, I didn't feel like I turned it at all. I'm not sure I did any good. So I'm gonna go ahead and quote replacing the Teflon seal and um, pulling the vacuum on it and recharging. We just gotta see what kind of refrigerant it is. I think it's 410, but we'll see. All right, this is an old ICP. Or is that? Can't be a five ton on a house like this. It's got to be a two and a half. That number sure makes you think that, though. I'm looking for a, a 
date of when it was manufactured. Mm-hmm. 2005 or 2007, I'm not real sure. All right, let's look for refrigerant. system so then maybe that's a 07 2005 all right so it is quite low head pressure seems high which makes me think it has been mixed with something so we can recover all that and put in like some mo99 and this should be fine. Let's see. Mm. It's hard to tell what's in it now. above freezing let's get them a quote together hey guys we have made it back it is a couple days later I had to make sure I had one of those little um, Teflon o-rings and we're fixing to hook up to this and make sure there's recovered a Freon if there's anything left in it and get to fixing it here we go <laughs> Oh, we still have a little bit. I've recovered that all the way down to zero. It looks like um, there was nothing wrong with that O-ring, but still we're gonna replace it. And while it's still got a little pressure on it, recover it down to zero. Still got pressure on it because I think there's some oil trapped refrigerant in the compressor. There we go. I think because it never it still was under a little bit of pressure I'm not gonna try to do a liquid line dryer on it it's still dry we're just gonna pull a vacuum and um, recharge all right good oil level
down to 29.9 let's see how long it takes to get the micro okay i was I was going to use an alternate refrigerant, but because we've still got some R22 in there, this stuff is worthless if I don't use it. I'm going to go ahead and charge this with R22. It takes nine pounds, eight ounces. It takes nine pounds, eight ounces. ounces let's zero that so it should be close to nine pounds eight ounces get this charged up turn it on and I've got to go get them some filters get this side turned off and I'm gonna go in and turn this thing on and uh, we'll get it all charged up it's gonna have a delay six pounds five ounces we're still doing good all right, this is where I have about settled out. I think we're doing pretty good here. That That is fluctuating between like 69 and 74. Let's see how low it goes, it's dropping now. Didn't go any lower than like 71. I think we're pretty good there. It's kind of cool in there. So this one's done. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Like I said in the video, I did not use a dryer because I didn't install a dryer because it never lost all of its pressure. I sealed it back up before everything leaked out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. That AccuTrack came in really handy right there it did its job very well i hope you enjoyed if you did about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one